uh, currently uh, traveling about one and a half times the speed of sound, about to go subsonic. You're looking over the shoulder of pilot Mark Kelly. This is uh, the view uh, from the uh, heads-up display camera or the pilot point of view camera looking out of the forward windows on the flight deck of Endeavour. And the early afternoon arrival at the Kennedy Space Center heralded by twin sonic booms as Endeavour is now subsonic just seven miles from its landing site. Commander Dom Gorey now back uh, at controls uh, of Endeavour, having yielded uh, the stick to pilot Mark Kelly for about 20 seconds of flying. This uh, all planned in advance uh, to give the pilot a little stick time around the hack. Three quarters of the way. On at the 90. Three quarters of the way around the heading alignment circle. Ninety seconds from touchdown, everything looking very good for Endeavour. About to punch a hole through these clouds uh, to find runway 15 at the Cape. You're looking again at the uh, heads-up display, uh, which uh, now uh, shows you the uh, runway at the Kennedy Space Center. This is the view uh, just over the shoulder of pilot Mark Kelly. We show you on and on. Copy on and on. Endeavour perfectly aligned now with runway 15 at the Cape. Uh, you should be seeing the runway uh, appear through the clouds momentarily. Houston, the field's in sight. Endeavour, Houston copies the field. Commander Dom Gorey now flaring up Endeavour's nose. <laughs> Pilot Mark Kelly now deploying the landing gear. Touchdown. Kelly now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Endeavour rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 4.8 million mile mission, bringing home the Expedition 3 crew after 129 days in space. Houston, Endeavour, real shot. 
Endeavour Houston, nice job in the approach and landing there, Dom, to you and your crew. We have no post-landing deltas. We'll meet you on page 5-3. Vegas, we're going to 5-3. 